Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be taking down my 55 inch Insignia TV, I think. Yep, my 55 inch Insignia TV that I put up two years ago. So I have to take her down and I'm about to show y'all all the tools that I use. So stay tuned. y'all so in order for me to take the tv down the first thing i'm going to do is just put on some like utility type of gloves because you know my hands are kind of dry and it's winter so i keep getting like little cuts and stuff like that so i'm going to make sure i have these on the whole time and i'm about to just use the same tools that i used to put it up i'm going to use those to take it down which was basically a screwdriver <laughs> and a hammer so and of course i kept the box of all the extra nails and stuff like that that it came with so i can put it right back in here because i'm moving so when i move put all my tools in here and then just you know put it up again but all right give me one second i'm about to cut the tv off all right so i cut the tv off if y'all i'm about to pull this a little closer if y'all remember when i put the tv up this last little piece right here that had a screwdriver it was like a safety screw or whatever that went into the wall i took that off the other day because i thought i was taking the tv down the other day and i decided not to until today so that's the only the first part that would have came off but i already did that and i already have the screw and i saved it so next i'm going to just unplug it there we go now i have to pick it up and pull it down All right, very easy. <laughs> Picked it up and I nicely put it down sideways. So we got left is right here. All of these nails, all of these nails that I punched in, oops. All of these nails that I punched into the wall, I'm gonna take all of these out. It should be about 20 of them. Take all of these out and then save them. And then this part will come off and then we'll be done so i'll be right back all right now what i'm thinking is one of two things i could either use a screwdriver and just pull these little bolts up or i could use the back of the hammer like this little part and pull it up so let me try both real quick and see which one makes the most sense okay it's not going to be this not going to use the hammer that's out so let me start in the middle so y'all can see. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare into my eyes. I know that I don't. For you every time I try to resist We can get away I'm just beach feels in an every day All I wanna hear is in every sense we play Staring next to you
these are what the holes are looking like in the wall so it's actually 20 nails not 15 i said 15 earlier it's 20 of them so these are the holes really really small all right so y'all see me take all the nails out i know y'all seen two or three of them fly away i grabbed them so all together we have 20 of them let me show you or let me do this there you go that's 20 of them plus the level i'm putting all of this in a sandwich bag because i still have the box but i only i counted 20 nails and i don't have extra i don't have one extra nail so it's really important that i don't lose this i'm gonna put in a sandwich bag seal it up to make sure that it goes with me and like I said, I still got the box, but a lot of the stuff in here is just extra. Um, depending on what type of TV you was putting up, these are like different type of universal um, screws and stuff like that. None of which I had to use. Well, I probably only used two of them, but you know, all of this is just extra. I kept the directions, original box, everything. But this is more important. So I'm gonna put this in here. Close this up. All right, so last thing. I know people was wondering like what it would look like once you take your TV down. I'll show you again how small these holes are. They're so little. Like, look at how close I have to get in order for y'all to even see it. It's so small. If I back up, you can barely even see it at all. Like, you, you can't even see it from right here. You can't see it. All right, y'all. So last thing, I know some people was worried about what you would do with these holes if you live in a place where you have to seal it. I don't. My rental office, they do not care about these little holes. But if you live in a place that does care, I'm going to link a product that you can buy on Amazon called Drydex. And you can basically seal these holes in just a couple minutes. It dries in like five minutes. It's so easy. It only costs four or five dollars. Um, I'm not going to use it because I don't have to. But if you need that product, I'm going to have a link below. And I'm also going to have the TV mount that I use link below as well and um but yeah i'm gonna probably do another video once i'm putting up my tv in my new place um if you guys want to see that but other than that i will see y'all in my next video